Hey YouTubers and YouTubies, it's Michelle. I haven't posted in a few days. Got three days worth of updates. So, here you go. Wednesday, I did not hit 20 rounds around my church building. I did seven. And the reason for that was I got there and the day before I had said in my last video that my thigh had hurt where the, my thigh bone had hurt. I was still kind of reeling from that. It was still sore. So anyway, I was sitting there and I was like saying that to somebody that my leg was hurting the day before and we just generally got into talking and Callista showed up and I had to honor the fact that she had come all that way. She says it's a mile from her house to the church. So she had come a mile, you know, jog, jogged up there with Apollo, her dog, and, and then um, we walked seven times around and that was that day, so I missed my goal that day. And then we go to tomorrow, yesterday. Yesterday I did 20 rounds in 35 minutes. And yesterday Callista had Facebooked me and said, 10 times around the building is a mile, so I'm doing two miles. And I did two miles in 35 minutes. Now, normally that's not a lot. You can do 20 minutes as a mile. That's an average pace for most people. But if you have an extra body that you're toting around, you're going to go a little bit slower than that. So for me, that was an accomplishment. I could have done a whole nother 10 rounds if I wanted to. I didn't want to. <laughs> I'm going to work up to that. So I did 20 times in 35 minutes. And today I did 20 times again in 40 minutes. And I had a break. I had to go to the bathroom. And uh, my MP3 player had stopped playing at one point. I put it on pause and didn't realize it. So for the most part, I'm actually doing 22 miles in roughly 30, 35 minutes. That's pretty good. <clears throat> Eight more times of 20 times around the building, and I get to carry weights with me when I do it, which is going to be a feat into itself. I have a weight update. Yesterday I weighed myself at um, 576. So I'm, I'm going down. I have not weighed myself today. I don't know how much I weigh. Could be more, could be less. It is what it is. I don't have the stress on it. What else can I tell you? Oh, I'm going to go get my weights today. Because uh, hubby got paid today because of the uh, impending holiday. He will not be able to access a bank. So they pay him a little bit earlier than... Um, than they need to. I mean, he can do everything online if he wants to. He does have a debit card, so I mean, we could go to the store even on Monday and and do everything. But some people only do banking. They only do all their stuff through the bank, and so if they can't access the bank, then they need to have the availability of their funds beforehand. So he got paid uh, three days early. Uh, and we'll be going to the uh, store today to go get my weights. And I'm thinking I'll start off with two pounders and then work my way up. Let's see, because that's going to be my my uh, reward for going 20 times around the building for 10 days in a row without a break. So I missed it on Wednesday. I missed it on Tuesday, so I just start Thursday. So it's my second day doing that. feel pretty accomplished about that. Sorry, I'm scratching. Sweat makes my scalp itch. It's one of the reasons I don't like to sweat. It makes me itchy. I just got back from walking. It's just right now 7 o'clock, 7 o... 2 a.m. Oklahoma time. Um, sun's just now getting bright enough that you could see daylight coming into the window. I have a light on my desk it's always on so it's a false a false reality well let's see what else can I tell you I don't know but I'm tired <laughs> walking wipes me completely out I mean it just takes every ounce of energy in the morning for me to do it and when I come home I am just beat but I do it and, and that's the that's the main thing is that I do it and I set goals for myself micro challenges I, I set a micro challenge and this challenge right now is to do 
two weeks or five days apiece or ten days in a row consecutive of 20 times around the building. And then I get to reward myself with something. And I'm going to reward myself something that I'll use with my walking. Now after that, I'm going to have to, what my goal is, is that, uh, and I'm going to start it next week, I hope, is I'm going to add at least two more rounds to this 20 times. So it's going to at least be 22 a round. So halfway would be 11, and I'm going to have to remember that. And I'm going to try to do that for a week and give myself some sort of micro reward for that. I don't know what it'll be, but it'll be something. Um, I just want to crawl in the bed and go back to sleep right now. I'm so tired. I have a quandary on Monday and Tuesday. Monday is Labor Day, so there's no school. So this uh, scripture study thing that my son is involved in will not be happening at my church. And the next day, the school district that that church building happens to be in is off for school for parent-teacher conferences. So there won't be, again, another scripture study class on Tuesday. So I still have to go walking. And my son said he'll go walking with me. He makes it slower. <laughs> so I might, I might not make it 20, 20 times around. He makes it slower when, when he's with me because I don't. I'm not in the zone with my kid when, when he's there. I'm having to listen to what he's saying, and my walking is not as um, speedy, and I don't have my music playing because I'm listening to him talk. We'll see. We'll see. If he messes me up, I'm just going to have to push him back two days. I, truthfully, even though he said that he's going to walk with me, he offered to, don't think he's going to get up in the morning to do it. I think he's going to chicken out and not want to. Um... Which means I'll just be doing it by myself and my husband in the parking lot. And that's fine. That's great. Husband can kick back in the, in the seat in the car. And I'll just be zoning to my music and doing my 22 times around the building. <sighs> I don't think there's any other updates. I don't have anything fantastic to tell anybody. No. I mean... You know, I've lost a couple pounds here. And I, I'm going to say that I'm going to contribute that weight loss from 260 to 256. Four pounds, four, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, four pounds to the walking. I'm going to say that it has something to do with the exercising. Um, so when I go back to the doctor and he sees that I've only lost 10 more pounds, I'm going to have to tell him, well, I'm doing everything you said. And it's 10 more pounds. I'm not going to allow them to say it's not fast enough by their criteria. When to me, it's a victory. Every pound that I drop is one more pound I don't have on my body. Whether it be gone in a, a week, a month, or a day, some of you are really lucky and should count yourselves lucky in the fact that you lose weight so fast. I, I prefer not to. I'm actually happy that I don't. My body is not in shock when it does that. My body is maintaining a, a stable weight. It sits at a plateau, and then it goes down a little. And it sits there, and it goes down. Now, it's extremely frustrating, and I'm not going to say that it's not. But I haven't gained any weight. I have not gained any weight. I, I drop it, and I can eat anything right now and everything I want anything and everything, no matter what it is, all the carbs, all the sugar, all the fat, and it, I'm still dropping the weight. Now, that's not healthy. I've tried it, and I'm still dropping weight. doesn't mean that I do it. I'm just saying that I can. Still high protein, low carbing in my life, so that I can uh, maintain that, because I know there will be a point when my body will, will stabilize to a regular weight, and if I think for a second that, oh, because I could eat anything, that now I can go ahead and eat anything, everything that I've gotten, every pound that I've dropped and then start to gain back will be a defeat, not a victory. So I've got to constantly be thinking about that. All the time that just because I know that I can and nothing happens and I'm not gaining weight right now does not mean that next week it won't happen, that I won't eat that burger and then I gain the five pounds because of it. So be smart in your choices. 
Um, really, everybody, I guess I'm going to just close it out and tell you thank you for subscribing. Um, have a great day. Have a wonderful weekend. Um, be careful on Labor Day. Take care of yourselves. Go out there and sweat a little bit. Do a little dance. Get down the night. Bye, YouTubers and YouTubies. Have a great Labor Day. Bye.